Megan pretends to be a selfless humanitarian but has a history of treating people unkindly and then discarding them. She abandoned her poor, sick father when he nearly died of a heart attack then vowed to never let him see his own grandchild. She abandoned most of her family members after becoming famous, arguably abandoned slash was very cruel to her first husband, was reportedly a bully in college, her co-workers said she was abusive to staff and she refused to help her own family members out of homelessness and poverty. I used to be so supportive of Megan. But after learning of how she has treated her family, I can no longer support her. Here is a short list of why Meghan Markle is not the humanitarian she pretends to be. Meghan abandoned her poor father to die in Mexico without ever seeing his grandchild. When he had two heart attacks and nearly died, she didn't even call him. Yes he made mistakes, but instead of forgiving him, she abandoned him. She also cut off the rest of her entire family minus her mother. When her own family members became homeless, what did Meghan do? Nothing. Now I understand her brother is a bit messed up, so I changed my mind, and understand why she didn't do anything to help him. But what about her other family members that are deeply impoverished slash and or homeless? What did they do to deserve no help at all? It was reported the humanitarian kicked homeless people off the streets on her wedding day. Megan spent one million dollars on clothes in a year. Despite having the ability to give the money to support orphans or AIDS victims she cares so much about. She supposedly has not treated her staff very well as more than six of them since her joining the RF. One staff member went on record and said she was a nightmare to work with. Her best friend of 30 years said she how badly Megan treated her first husband led to the end of their friendship. She preaches about ending global poverty and equality while spending more than one million dollars on clothes in a year and living in a mansion. She ditched her dog before coming to London. A former friend of hers said Meghan was looking for a famous English man to date before she met Prince Harry. Meghan also lies, a lot. Meghan said she wants to end global poverty but spent one million dollars on clothes. Meghan is an eco-warrior, but flies private jets. Megan preaches about kindness, but didn't bother to call her own dad who nearly died of two heart attacks. Megan preaches about mental health, but ditched several good family members after becoming famous. Megan says she wants to empower women, but got her job from her uncle, her boyfriend and husband. Megan says she wants privacy, but posed for Vanity Fair and gave an interview for Vogue. At this point, I basically see Megan as the new Marie Antoinette and I don't see how anyone can take her seriously anymore. Markle and Prince Harry were continuously lying during their tell-all interview. An insider says Meghan is an actress. She's taught Harry well how to play the role of the poor, innocent victim facing off against the world. The couple used their acting skills to cover up their lies. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would net $500 million from the interview. But it never exactly explained where that money would come from. Markle a monster and christened Prince Harry Henbecht. Markle a monster and...